it was blood, sweat, and tears that brought River Radimus to Lillehammer. It's a lot of hard work and and a lot of trusting yourself when, when results don't go your way. You know, I, I have had a lot of bad results this season, and I just came in with a renewed mindset into these games and uh, executed really well, so I'm excited about that. Radimus, the most decorated athlete in USA's youth Olympic history, already won three gold medals heading into his final event, the men's slalom. Obviously, I've had a good run uh, of races. Three wins isn't nothing. I would love to perform my best today, but, but I'm uh, happy with how I've done so far. In the slalom, he slipped in the first of two races, meaning disqualification. Yesterday, yesterday the uh, Italian Pietro Canzio, who was in third today, said, you got three, man. Just take a break. <laughs> uh, you know, obviously, I'd like to have performed well, but, but it's, it's never a guarantee that I was going to win anyway. There's a lot of really great competitors, and, and competition's been fierce throughout the games. Coming into these games, Radimus never really thought he would be the center of attention. Suddenly, he's the story of Lillehammer. Uh, you know, it's crazy. It's it's uh, been a little bit of a whirlwind the last couple of days. I came in with, with like 300 Instagram followers and I'm leaving with 2,000. So uh, it's a... Uh, it's been a crazy couple of days, and I'm excited that people are, are uh, you know, enjoying my success with me. A moment his coach is also relishing. He's humble. He's, he believes in himself, but it's, it's really cool to just see him shine in a moment like this. For athletes, competing at the highest level is a dream come true. For Rivers, it has become a reality. I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to ski race, and, and it's always been a dream to compete on the highest level. I, I couldn't have imagined that I'd be, be able to compete here. And, and be able to perform the way I have. He slapped on a pair of skis at two years of age and never looked back and then became a legend overnight. His coach suggests he was born to do this. He's always had a strong character and it's something that is really, he's beyond his years in terms of his character and, and his, how humble he is and, and how much he is able to give back as much as he receives. Weaver said he couldn't have done it without his support team. It seems like, like after a little while, it would be, you know, you know, you'd get used to it. But the, the third gold medal yesterday was probably the most emotional for me. I was, I was up on the podium, and my my mom was in the crowd for the first time in these games, and and it was a, uh, it was really nice to be able to to stand up there and and sing the national anthem with my mom here. Jade Webster, IOC Young Reporter.